Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira X-Ray tutorial, we are going to learn how to add the test environment into your Jira X-Ray project. So test environment, before we go ahead and add is basically, say for example, you are performing the testing in a particular project and before the product or pro or the software gets released to the production users or the end users, it's tested internally, right? And then when you will be testing it, it will be installed or the package will be installed on multiple uh, different servers. Say for example, the overall testing cycle is managed in different phases, right? So when, say for example, there is a initial release of the software, there will be a test environment wherein, say for example, system integration testing is performed, right? Then there will be another test environment or server wherein the package will be deployed wherein more of a user acceptance testing will be performed right then there will be another test environment which is kind of very close to the pre-production or the specification or the server specification are as close as the production server for example your uh, memory the ram etc the processing capacity and all of that right so this is basically what the relevance of test environment is it's nothing it's kind of a server you can say or wherever your application it's basically installed if you are testing a mobile app it's basically your mobile phone with particular specifications so those sort of environments need to be there for the testing for the application to basically do the testing and move to the production so how we are how we are going to add those test environment in a particular uh, jira project so let's go and see that so basically we have the project here right and if you go to the uh, project settings okay so if you go to the project settings of a project you need to be a project administrator for that right and most probably if you are a lead or manager you will be having that capability or the project management capacity to update all of the details right so in the apps here if you scroll down in the apps you will see the x-ray setting okay so click on the x-ray settings and here you will see the option for the test environments okay so click on the test environment and now here you can add the environment or create a new environment right so there are no test environments found right so usually when the testing will happen the execution or whenever you are launching the application it might be installed on some test server right so that's what the environment is so to add environment simply click on add environment add test environment and then uh, sorry we first have to create okay so before adding you make sure that you need to create it so we'll simply go ahead and click on create environment and we need to specify the environment okay so say for example this is sit test environment right so you simply provide the name sit and in the des description we'll say sit test environment right and specify the url say for example a particular url so here uh, the environment would be some server environment so say for example it is just just for the sit env dot test dot com something like that okay so you will get that environment url uh, from your test environment team okay so once you have provided these details click on save and you will see the test environment has got added okay so we'll create some more test environment so we'll say the uat and then provide the UAT URL there and provide another one which is the dev where developers will be doing their testing right so they'll be coding and then deploying on some server so that will be their test environment so you'll say dev test environment and then there could be a pre prod right so there could be multiple so SIT1 SIT2 uh, dev1 dev2 depending how big the team is and how many test environments the team need right so we have added a three test environment now if you want to change any of these test environment you can click on these right ellipses here click on edit to edit the details or to delete click on the delete here okay so once you are basically done right so you can you know if you are changing any of the settings so for example this setting create inline test environment uh, this allows inline creation of the test environment on test execution page so you, you can check that and then simply save it right so test environment settings are saved okay and now if we go to the project back and to the execution you should be able to see that the tests can be executed on multiple test environments now right so if we go to the issues so let's say one issue search and we'll search the executions so you'll see the execution is listed here but from here in the drop down as well you can simply either select more 
okay and then you can search for the issue type basically not not here okay in the type itself you can simply say the test execution type all right and then it will list the executions so let's open this execution and execute it on different environment that we have created so this is the execution right now if you go to the details right so you'll see that now you will get we get open uh, the test environment open test environments so if we click on the open test environment there are no associated test environment for this this execution yet so we can click on this edit and you will see the test environments that we have just created so say for example the execution is happening on the SIT test environment we'll select that and click on create right so it will create ah oh, sorry not create just cancel and then just click on the tick here okay so simply selecting from the drop down right and then clicking on the tick if you say create it will open the new test environment window to create so that's another option or another way to add the test environment right so this is how you are going to add the test environment or associate test environment to the test execution and this is very important practice basically that whenever you are doing the execution make sure that there is an associated test environment which will give you a clarity on which particular test environment the execution has happened and make sure that you do this association prior to execution executing the test cases okay so you get a better or clear report and there is not a confusion on which test environment this execution has happened associating it after might cause certain issues and then you can also associate multiple test environments at once so say for example parallelly the team is executing on SIT same test cases and on dev as well so you can associate multiple test environments there to associate that yes this test case is executed parallelly on both test environments this is highly unlikely this is not a practice that usually is followed but you can do that okay so this is briefly how you are going to add the test environment right and then the relevance of test environment and associate a test environment to the test execution now once you have associated the test okay so say for example let's execute this one right so this is this test the third test hasn't been executed and simply start the timer if you want it's not mandatory right and you'll see the test environment is listed here right that this test case is being executed in SIT okay and then you will see all other details are kind of similar it's just the environment that will be listed here the SIT in the test environment section as well previously it was blank because we didn't have any test environment associated okay so this is basically how you are going to execute it if you are if you have executed the precondition say for example you have executed the precondition and the scenario and it's actually working fine then you can say okay the test has passed and then the test attach the test findings here if there are any evidences put the comment and then go back to the so that's all about how to add the test environment and associate it with your test execution in jira x-ray i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching